Hi, and welcome to another video on the uh, PHP 2 course. In this activity, we are going to do a design for a store. And so this will provide you a model to follow for your final project. So in this activity, we're going to be designing three documents, a conceptual, logical, and physical database design. And so we'll take you through the meaning for each of those and show you an example. So we are asked to design a partial database. So we're not making an entire app now, just the database. So our app that we're going to work with in this activity is a game that has weapons, a war game. So the users can shop for weapons, they can purchase, and they can access pre previously purchased weapons in their uh, database. So let's talk about these uh, three different ideas here of conceptual, logical, and physical database designs. So I'm going to switch to this uh, web page here called One Key Data, and they have some good diagrams that we're going to borrow and uh, talk about. Let's take a look at these three here. These are the three concepts here, conceptual, logical, and physical design. You can see simplicity on the left, complexity on the right. So we're going to start with the simplicity and move to the complex. So creating a database takes a lot of design work ahead of time. You can't just sit down and start coding. And so there are some basic rules that you follow to create a successful project. And design is all the key there. So here are the three different phases that we're going to do in this exercise. A conceptual design, a logical design, and a physical. So a conceptual design is where we start with. It, uh, it identifies kind of a high level of where your app is going to do. Uh, it's going to have names of tables. It's not going to have a lot of details on how many characters are in certain fields or anything. We're just looking at the, uh, the main uh, overall view. So this is what a conceptual design might look like. So you can see that I have entities in here, or you can think of them as tables. Tables and entities are like synonymous in this case. In, in the conceptual design, we talk about entities, okay? So uh, entities show that we might have a, a table called sales or an entity called sales. And tied to that are their products and timestamps and items in the store. So we don't really know what's in there, but we can kind of guess based on the titles. So let's think about the items that you would define as a entity. So what tables eventually will be created? So first of all, an entity is an object about which you're collecting data. So if you're not capturing data about something, it's probably not a good entity. So let's give you some examples of what are good entities. Let's start with this one here. Uh, this is a, a profile of a student. And so you would think of as a student as an entity. We collect data on this person. We have his name and social security number and all the rest of the information. And so this would and eventually fall into a table. So an entity is, is a student here, a good example. Here's another entity. Uh, let's say we have products in our catalog and the products have details. So the product has the picture, it has the name, has a price, uh, lots of details about lots of things there. So a uh, product is a good example of an entity. Let's think of uh, entities in the idea of shipping. And so if you're capturing data about when a, when a box has been sent, when it's been delivered, when it's been signed for, when it's been returned, that would qualify yourself as a, a shipping entity. Uh, here's another example, an appointment. So if you're doing an application for a doctor, you could think of the uh, appointment table and you would probably have links to lots of things in it, such as the, uh, the customer, and the doctor, and um, maybe procedures that are re related to this. And so an appointment would be something like an order. It's another uh, entity. Probably the most common entity that will show up in most commerce databases is the uh, orders table. And so we would think of an order entity as um, a big piece of paper here. But it includes sub-entities. For instance, it says here, bill to, ship to. So the customer entity is going to be linked to an order. Also uh, the products that we see down here, we're going to have a list of everything that's in the order. 
And so we would have an entity maybe called order details, which would include this entire table. So the general rule is if you're going to create a table or an entity about something, then it's going to be an object that you capture a lot of data about. We get a little more detailed with the logical design view. So a, an entity is going to have line items in it. So let's talk about what it looks like. Um, here's an example of uh, a logical model. So the same entities are listed, such as product and sales and, shop and store. But you can see we've assigned some specific um, column names now. So product description, category, category description, unit price created. A little more detail. However, it does not yet tell us what the um, actual length of the uh, line will be, or if this is an integer item, if it's a, a decimal, if it's a boolean. So you can see down here in the center that this example shows sales as an entity, or you might think of this as an order. So a sale is uh, going to have an ID from the store, so we know which store it came from. A sale is going to have product uh, ID, so we know which, which item was sold. Uh, it's going to have a date. So those are foreign keys that talk to other entities. So a key term or a key idea in creating a logical design is to create the relationships between the tables, or excuse me, between the entities. We're going to list all the attributes that are going to be included. And uh, number four is we're going to have to resolve these many-to-many -many relationships and then get into the idea of normalization. Both of those are topics that require a discussion on their own. The third phase of designing a database is to physically create the uh, code in your database program. So it might look a little different in your Oracle server versus your MySQL server or your Microsoft SQL. So each database company creates their own uh, slight detailed differences. So this is what it's going to look like when you have a physical data model. You can see how specific it is now. We have the uh, actual length of each item, whether it's the data type is an integer or a string. So it's built directly from the previous two models, except it has all the details in of exactly how you're going to spell everything and uh, what the data types will be. So the important thing is that when you're doing your design, you make all your major changes in the first two stages. If you get to this stage and you look at a design and find weakness, then you've wasted a lot of effort and uh, you're going to have to have some expensive fixing to do if you have to make any major modifications. So here's a chart that summarizes the uh, work that you should be doing at each stage. So we'll start with our conceptual design and we're basically going to come up with the names of our entities. And then we'll Go to the second design, which is the logical, and we'll start to add the actual details that we're going to be implementing. And then finally, we'll define in detail what each line in the table will hold. So now returning to our assignment here, the next video I'm going to do is going to take you through some of the um, steps that you would create in thinking out the uh, process of a design and concept, and then logic, and then in physical design. So that's to come.
So I'm going to do some Google searches on things that would make good entities. If you were to think about the documents and screens that you see on applications, you can probably come up with entities. Let's think about orders. So here's an image for an order form. So the order itself is an entity and it has an item on it called a shipping address. So an address of a person is an entity. Uh, the table itself here is a bunch of items. So each row in the table is an entity. So your order form contains a bunch of entities on it. Uh, here's a more simple one. Let's think of a custom. 